Got to give them credit where credit's due. Welcome back to Blar. We have a He-Man Masters of the Universe He-Man action figure from the Masterverse series. Got this at Ross for $3.99. Box is in really bad shape, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. This is a silly looking action figure to me. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but it was really cheap. It was part of the He-Man series, and I got other things in the He-Man series. You kind of have to have He-Man, right? You still have to because this thing looks looks kind of ridiculous. All right, let's um, let's open it up. I think it's all broke apart. This is intact, just a beat up box. Well, that's nice. Uh, it comes with two hands. This buster like sword. Uh, this. Yep, oh, it is. There's always one, right? If the rest pop out just fine, and then one's like, nah, I'm gonna stick. Alright. Fine. Uh, we see those ankle rockers. He's so clunky looking. This is ridiculous. This, why would he make it like this? I don't know if this cartoon looks like that. Let me check the box at. I guess that's his look. He skips leg day, that's for sure. <laughs> his little legs. Anyways. And it is uh, definitely like that on the axe figure. No leg day for He-Man. Alright. The sword's alright though. I don't mind the sword. And he has what, the fist hands there. You can hold it in this hand. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so I finally got his sword in with the help of a screwdriver. It's ridiculous. Alright. So he's intact. He has these stupid looking arms. He has these tiny legs. The sword is alright. It's really hard to get into his hand uh, as our hands are fists are closed so that does not help has stupid ankle rockers of course he stands pretty good though kind of surprised he stands that well like just off the bat he's like huge upper body extremities and he's still standing so let's move him back a little bit maybe okay could be wrong Actually, that's not bad. Got to give him credit where credit's due. All right. His arm's down. <laughs> and he can't hold his sword back here. Just made it look a little bit better. I, I don't know. He holds it kind of weird. With his arm, like, crooked out. I guess his overhead slash would make sense, maybe. Uh, his head turns. Kind of has like a Disney's Hercules look about him. And the face there. Has a Castle Grayskull, I guess, belt buckle. The color scheme is okay. It's these <laughs> silly arms. Um, but he does stand. Was he worth four bucks? Yeah, he was. Is he the worst of the bunch? I would probably say so. As far as looks go, I think he's the worst. I think mean, Zodak's pretty stupid, but from what I can tell so far, this guy, <laughs> this actually really looks pretty silly. Um, oh, what's this say here? Living among 
a tiger tribe with no memory of who he is or where he came from. Adam discovers his destiny, or rather, destiny discovered him. The Sword of Power found his champion, changing Adam into He-Man. Using the power of Grayskull, He-Man transforms his friends and allies, combining their might. They declare, we have the power. Now, did he ask his friends to become transformed? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that is the He-Man Masterverse action figure. Uh, the pros, he does stand better than what you would think. The cons is he looks ridiculous. Well, the sword's okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks.